Hi, this is Farrell. Welcome to my video and Robot Todd page 21. Actually, when I did this uh, sort of, um, I don't know what I'm calling these, just the little pre-sketch page, the little warm-up sketch, you can see I actually wrote page 20 and then had to go and correct it, change it to page 21. So um, yeah, I just have like about uh, five more pages to go after this uh, for issue one anyway, and then f four more issues. Of, or all the issues going to be like 32 pages but yeah here I started the pencils before I started filming you can see they're a little roughed in already and um yeah the idea of this page is that Robot Todd had like run after this like bug critter and then kind of stops in his tracks and then looks around kind of does a head turn when he realizes the fox is not with him anymore and so he does like a little he doesn't do a lot of talking, but he has like little symbols that appeared above his head, like fox question mark, and they sapped in the doll character, like, I don't know, we didn't see any fox, because they were like, a little distracted by the the enemy creatures, and um, yeah, and the light and all that, but here you can see I'm going over the lines with a Faber-Castell pit pen for all the foreground characters, and the lettering, I usually start with the lettering first, get that locked down. And I think the first thing I started coloring on this was that fox face in the in the uh, third panel in this word balloon there. Um, so yeah, I have the uh, symbol, the question mark, just kind of free floating in the second panel above his head. It's doing one of those like kind of comics vocabulary thing of him like turning rapidly. So there's like a double image of his head. Uh, back and forth. I don't know if you can make that out in the thing. And um, inking it actually looked like I... Actually, this isn't ink. This is watercolor. I think I used black watercolor for them. Or maybe I had some inks there. There's none on the table, so I can't quite see. But um, I do Sept's hair usually first because that's like a big solid area of black. And um, yeah, as I'm laying in the watercolor, it looks, it looks d as dark as I want it to be. But then once it dries, it dries a little lighter. So I did a few passes on this with the uh, with the watercolors and the inks. And here you can see I'm holding up my board, my drawing board there to kind of let the, the gravity pull down the watercolor rather than just kind of have it pool on a flat surface. So I wanted it to kind of help me along by, because uh, the, the, uh, the ink, or here you can see this like little preview of the children's book that I'm <laughs> working on, the secret children's book, so. I wasn't supposed to see that. Um, but yeah, the, uh, yeah, whenever I'm doing washes like that, a big areas, it's kind of easier for me to add a lot of, a lot of water and rather than it, the, the paper to warp and bubble and stuff, I hold the paper up a little bit so that gravity can kind of pull it down, kind of assist me. Um, so here, yeah, I'm going out in with some blue because I look, looking at the previous page there on the left, it's really blue. So I kind of wanted it to sort of match that. I didn't want it just to just keep shifting in, in color and hue. So um, yeah, I just did uh, a couple more a couple more passes than I would have liked to have done. I should have started with the blue first and then added, added the blacks later. But um, yeah, there I went over Sepp's suit a couple of times to get it the right level of... Uh, of tone that I wanted and um yeah and then just the red for the suitcase and the yellow for Todd's uh stripes that he has and I think the last thing that I did on this page it was it went over Todd's outfit like his clothing um just added some grays and kind of doled it out a little bit because the bright white in the the dark cavern didn't really make sense and I felt like once that I once I added the tone to him, the gray to Robot Todd, the page was pretty much done. Um, it's looking like uh, pretty close here. I think I'm just adding the skin tones on Sept and the doll. The doll might have actually been the last thing that I ended up coloring. But um, yeah, I felt like this page went pretty pretty quick. Um, the, the background is kind of like a made up background, this like graveyard type thing, um, sort of a composite of these like sort of mechanical tunnels, like industrial space, and also it's a cave, like a cavernous space, like an alien cavernous space. And then um, I have a cemetery near my house that I go on walks in sometimes. So I got, and I've been reading this Kitaro book 
I got the idea of like there'd be these little graveyard monolith structures there and that's pretty much the finished page and then here's the pencils or the rough pencils anyway for the next page I went ahead and did them yesterday just because I had some time and it's pretty sleepy but uh, I sleepily did that and um, here at the end of the video I'm going to talk about my 2020-2020 daily drawings book again um, if you didn't watch the last video it's uh, a collection of drawings that I did in 2020 and I did uh, one a day all year long and they're most of them are about like four inches big so I, I did like six panels a page uh, there's a few that are like kind of maybe like half page or, or larger um, a few that I have like a, a cut you know two or three on a page I think that's the beginning of the year I started out doing them bigger and then by the end of the year I was pretty much almost exclusively doing them at four inches and I have like a whole tarot deck in there um, a bunch of Robot Todd stuff so this is kind of like a companion book to some of the other appearances that Robot Todd's making on uh, has made um, so yeah, you get, I'm going to put a link in the description of this for the crowdfunder if you want to check that out. Um, also, if you want to check out my Patreon, it's Feral Dow, and I'm going to be talking more about this book on there and the Robot Todd book. The Patreon's pretty much to support the creation of Robot Todd, so if you like what you're seeing, you're interested in finding out more about it, I suggest you go to my Patreon or this crowdfunder here. Um, Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in about a week.